What's up, YouTube? How y'all doing today? It's tacos all day. And we're here to play some Firewatch. Let's see how this game goes, guys. Without further ado, let's get started. Boulder, Colorado, 1975. You see, Julia. But where is she? That's my poem. She was about your age, late 20s, laughing with well dressed professors and grad students from nearly CU Boulder. You, Henry, are out drinking with your pals. You approach her, but you're drunk. Oh, choice! Oh, snap! Oh, snap! Okay, cool. So, what's your, you know, major? You, you're pretty. Well, assuming that I'm drunk and she's with professors and people, what's your major? Oh, my. You slur the word major and it smells like cores. Ew, yuck. You give an awkward smile. Evolutionary biology, she says. And I'm a professor. Cool. He reply. What's yours? She asks. She sniffs the air. Toxicology? Don't be a smart ass. Was that a burn? He says. Or you ask. She's definitely she says definitely. <laughs> Where is your hurt your feelings? She asks if you want to split a cheese. Whoa, 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 this ain't real life. When we glitter, you're Julia's boyfriend. Whoa, whoa, what? That's cute. Oh, why? Look at the elevator. Okay, so my left click is my R... T. R. B. R. B for back, yes. Do I have legs? Yes, I have legs. Awesome. Any game that has legs, I'm happy with. Alright. Let's see. There's definitely my truck. See what's over here. You know, you guys gotta, ex you know, explore and excavate. <laughs> I guess there's no way in there. Oh, let's go back to my truck. I like the color scheme. It looks nice. It's really simple music too. You date for over a year. She drives you absolutely nuts. It's great. That's nice. Ah, uh, you move in. You share an apartment near the school with a view of the mountains. You two drink beers out on the deck. You drink beer just about anywhere. Life is good. Julio wants to get a dog. Okay. <laughs> There's a scruffy, undersized beagle. Julia is in love. She wants to bring it to her class. I guess you don't show and tell. Uh, There's also an intimidated but gentle-eyed German Shepherd. Nothing bad could happen to Julia while walking to with this dog. It's badass. Now, happy wife, happy life, they say, but she ain't my wife. Uh, and she names him Bucket. I want to have her safe. Bucket's a good. I didn't. Never mind. I didn't choose the right one. I'm sorry. I chose the left one. Bucket's a good dog. And a week later, you've totally forgotten about the other one. Julia loves him. You love him too. I kind of have no choice because I have to say yes. You walk on the deck, it's summer, 9.30 p.m., and the heat still radiates off the high desert. What do you think about kids, she asks. What are you trying to fuck? <laughs> kids? They're not even very smart or good at much. I'm saying if you want to have some, a couple of little idiots. One day, why rush? How about that would be pretty good? Because she's asking for it, means she wants it now. In that case, we should probably get married. Yeah, I would like that, you say. <laughs> These kids are gonna be screwed up enough. It's probably the, for the best their parents are hitched. You're absolutely right. That's that's, that's a very cute that's a very cute story. This game looks so beautiful, man. Just look at the cell shading, almost the design. The co oh, looks amazing. Wait, are there clouds? No, I think the clouds are actually sitting still. Cause they're gonna do everything. 
But shit, look at the grass, it's still moving. Do not forget to check in. Oh, fireworks. Warning. It's not recommended. Blah, blah, blah. Alright, well then I'm guessing we're going over here. Ah, so that's the run button. Fade to black. 1980! It's Thursday night and Julia is four hours late. She doesn't call you worried and getting angry by the minute. She walks in and you've gone to bed. She's not quite drunk, but she's clearly having a fun time. You fight when she gets back in the sheets. Hmm. It's best to show your emotions. Oh, damn, dude, don't say that. Okay, well, you call her an you know, inconsiderate asshole. She tells you to fuck yourself and not to be such a baby. You call her selfish. She knows you mean it and it hurts her feelings. 1981. Julia still likes to draw. Hey, that's awesome. She draws plants from her research. She draws all the places you go. She draws you. You pose and flex like a He-Man. You feel like a Victoria's Secret model. Shit, I'm He-Man. <laughs> you look awesome. Isn't this lovely? I thought I was a kid for a second. Wow, look at the lighting. I wonder if somebody actually went to, like, I think Colorado and looked at the sunset in the mountains to see how this looked, because this giant looks amazing! <laughs> yeah! Yeah! That's nice. 1982. During the summers, you and Julia enjoy walking bucket at night. There's a festival in town. It brings in folks in far, far away. One of them tries to mug you with the- Whoa, what the fuck? Bucket gets kicked. Dude. Yuri yells, she gets flustered and has trouble speaking when you when she is stressed. You confront the attacker. Shit, I don't care what happens to me. I barely got that face in. Your arms get cut up, but you beat the guy to a pulp. You don't feel very tough. You cry your eyes out before the cops show up. Julia asks, take a different path. From that day forward, you say okay. You don't want to go that way either. From then on, you walk by the river. So that means no more fighting? How the fuck kick my dog? Plans to have kids get waylaid by work. Whoa. This the music. Julie gets offered a job at Yale. Yale is in Connecticut, 2,000 miles away. It's a great job. Associate department chair. Wow. She moved. She wants to move. She wants her to take the job. I agree if she commutes back. Damn, dude. It's too much work to commute back and forth. That's just too much on the person. I want her to work, though. Yes, yeah, so she could be back and forth if you don't want to move to Connecticut. She says that you'll be hard. She says she'll do it if you won't move. You told her not to pass it up if she wants it. She agrees. She flies back to Boulder three times each semester. Damn. Julia is sent home from Yale on paid leave after having an episode. She lost it on a colleague for borrowing books that were important for her research. She didn't remember she had happily loaned them to her. To him just two days prior. Wow. She's sound crying in a stairwell. You say that maybe you guys should talk to someone about it. You make macaroni and drink wine, try to forget. You need to talk about it. After seeing multiple doctors and having many tests, they're worried that Julia might be suffering from early onset dementia. Holy shit. She is 41. You both decide to keep it a secret. No! No, don't do that! Journal. Let's see what this is in a journal. What's in the, what's in the journal? <laughs> he man, I'm fat. Memories, I can see. Book is getting older. Julia comments that it's kind of nice because he gets in less trouble around the house. A week later, she goes back to university. Ah. 1987. Julia's affliction gets worse. She can't remember things in class. Her research is in shambles. She drives her car to the next town over for no particular reason and has to be brought home by the police. She is devastated. She is sent home on permanent medical leave. 
damn son. Some days you get the Julia who calls you a dope and you unborn children, little idiots. Other days you get a stranger. She puts you in the bed to make love after five minutes. She goes into a panic bed, leaving. Her dad is at the door. Wow. You tell her family they're crushed and begin to make trips from around their house in Australia. Holy crap, to visit her. For a while, your friends come by with little things to brighten the day. She gets worse. 1988. You spend your days following Julia around the house. You count seconds between the two weekly visits from Daniel, the nurse. Damn, Daniel. <laughs> okay. He suggests that Julia could live somewhere else, somewhere with 24 hour care, a home. It sits with you for a couple months. Ah, oh, man. Why am I getting these choices, man? I don't want to play the game of life. You decide to move her into a home. You are determined to take care of her by yourself. I have to. I chose to be with her. What happened? What happened? I don't want to know anything bad. Please, nothing bad happened. I don't want nothing bad to happen to her. Ooh! Elk! Beautiful! Damn, son. That is amazing. <sighs> what now? Is it possibly hard? The worst is when you get mad at her. Like when she tries to cook her own food. You can't do anything without her. And she can't do anything without you. When she sleeps. Well, when she goes to sleep. Uh, you stay up for a few hours. drinking on the deck. Watching baseball in the summer. College basketball in the winter. Drinking then too. You start going out after you put her to bed. The first time you do. <sighs> first time you do it. You worry about her getting up and walking around when you're gone. Pair a chair in front of the door. You trust that she sleeps like a rock. Damn it, that's a bad choice, man. <sighs> you go to the same bar at the morning, at the boring end of Pearl Street. It's nice there. Over time, you tell Sheila, the bartender, everything. It's a huge way off. It's a huge weight off. Way off your shoulders. Weight off your shoulders. Yeah. You're home and in bed by 1 a.m. A couple nights a week. Look forward to those nights. Oh, buddy. 1989. One night you stopped at a. DUI checkpoint. You blew a point ten and are taken to jail for the night. You consider trying to hide it, but you tell your sister in law, Susan. Nah, sis. Julia's parents take the next plane from Australia. They can't believe your state your house is in. <sighs> then they tell you Julia is coming to live with them. You don't argue, you say you'll visit soon. If you wish to go by, summer is coming. And you see an ad in the paper for a job. You take it. Bruh, the emotional moment, man. Alright, well, let's go into the lookout tower. That's definitely where I, my job is. From Colorado to Connecticut. Damn, son. Should have convinced her to stay. I want to see what the story would have been if I did. But a whole different thing, man. It would have been a whole different world. Let's just check if there's anything up here first. Hey, there's another lookout. Throw for a lookout. <laughs> it reminds me of Zelda. You know, Wind Waker. Alright, let's go on in. Power switch. Alrighty. Hello, Two Forks Tower. Hello. The Singular Mine by Jonas Allard. Sink Two Allard. Forks Tower, this is Thoroughfare Tower. Come in. <laughs> Throw. Release. Um, hello? Whoever this is? It's Henry, right? Yeah. I'm Delilah. Yeah, that's what the guy said on the phone. So, what's wrong with you? Excuse me? People take this job to get away from something. So, what's wrong? What's wrong with you? That's a great idea. Go ahead. Look, I just hiked for two days, so I don't really follow whatever it is you're doing right now. You take a stab at what's wrong with me. Fine, then can I sleep forever? 
Sure, buddy. Okay, now go ahead. Okay. Let's see. You've killed three ex-husbands. Yuri belaying his mom. Nobody back home can stand you. Okay, you're probably out here because nobody back home can stand you. Which, after this brief introduction, is not a big shock. Ouch. Uh, I'll chalk that up to you being tired and grumpy. Well, I'd better get some sleep then. One sec. Now it's my turn. Okay, good night. Bye. Let's see. I don't know anything about you. I say you got fired from your job and have finally decided to write your novel. That's the sort of bullshit reason you'll find a man out in the woods. Yeah. Good night. Welcome to the job. Okay, cool. That's the introduction. Day one. I wonder how this is going to be. I am writing. Good morning, Henry. Well, I guess good afternoon. <laughs> you probably slept like a rock. Anyway, uh, there's still a few hours of daylight to get some work in. I can see you at your desk, so call me when you're ready. Okay. Well, you can see me at my desk. Where the hell you at? You on the other side? I have to answer that, don't I? Let's switch to answer. Hey, sorry. Guess I slept in. You got a relaxing, what, 14 hours of sleep? Ooh. Yeah, Jesus. I guess it's what, That's a nice six? picture. 6.45. Whoops. Don't worry about it. That hike puts everyone out of commission for a day or two. But now that you're up, let me quickly get you acquainted with the job. There's a thing in the middle of your room with a round map on it. Do you see it? Yes. Okay, yeah, I see it. This is the Osborne Firefinder, invented in 1914 by W.B. Osborne? You use this to spot, you guessed it, fi- What the fuck? What is it? Nothing. Um, you, uh, you use this to- Oh, fuck me! Good God, language, lady. Out your west-facing window. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Where, where, where? West. Are those fucking fireworks? Where? I need you to confirm. Do you see them? Where? And to use compass. Seriously, are you seeing this? Fine, we use N. West. Henry. Whoa, that's not legal, right? Uh, no. You need to get down there right now and stop them. Fire danger is through the fucking roof. Is that really my job? Your job is whatever I say it is. Look, the closest ranger is like two days away. Go down there and set them straight. All right, let's do it. Uh, let's see. Let's kick this shit out of them. <laughs> do you think you can handle that? Like, kick the shit out of them sort of straight? No, 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 no. Jesus, no. What? I'm not a cop. It's not like I've got a rule book over here. Just make sure they don't do it again. Take their shit. All right, fine. Don't feed anyone a knuckle sandwich. Never going, again. You probably need a rope to get down the shale between you and the lake, if I remember right. There should be one in the supply box on the way. The code is one, two, three, four. It's actually that for all of them. Smart. Shut up. Very. I see this. You get a response time to look at stuff. Let's see. Zoom into map. Oh, there it is. Uh, I'm right there. Find ropes in NFC catch box 3606. So right the, no, not there. 306, so I need to go up. Oh, that's pretty awesome. You can walk while zooming in, looking at the map too. That's pretty awesome. We'll go ahead and speed this run up real quick. Let me see map, 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 map. Where I'm at. All right. So I need to go this way. All right, let's go this way. 
Just making sure. Alright, let's see. How are you guys enjoying this game? It looks amazing. Yes, yes, yes. I know. Let's see. Oh, okay. So it's almost here. Really close. I'm gonna get the cash, and I'm gonna end the video there. So we're gonna see definitely where this is gonna go. The next part. I just wanted to get this part in so I can show you guys uh, this awesome new game. There's the box. What? Wait, what? Is there a password? Is there a password for this? I guess. I found the supply box. Okay. Great. But I don't know the code. I can't get in. Hey, what's the code again? One, two, three, four. The whole lot of them. Wow. Okay. Wait. Oh yeah. One, two, three, four. Simple enough. Simple enough. Copying the map. Just doing my thing. Nice. Note. Take that note. Let's see. Reads the note. Must be. Read. 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 Oh, whatever. Pine cone. Yeah. Take that rope. Alrighty. Now, I want to know which button do you press to read the notes? Ooh, granola bar. I'll take that. Hey, there's a snack in here. Probably gonna eat it. You definitely do not want to do that. Whatever's in there has been in there for years. That's how you get food poisoning. Don't care. Ate it anyway. Alright guys, well, we're gonna end it here, like I said before. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. I'm bringing out this again uh, every week interchangeably so next week on Tuesday I'm bringing out dying light so uh, I will see you later if this gets five likes I will post them up tomorrow I'll just keep posting but I will see you all later so do not forget to subscribe and share with your friends see ya bye